set up my drill press. This is a silver manufacturing company drill press. And it has a chuck that's just a half inch bore in the end of the shaft with its set screw. The set screw goes up against the flat on this half inch shank and locks the drill bit in place. Now you'll notice that this half inch shank is reduced down and it has a 3 8 drill bit down here at the end. Originally, these drill presses were used to drill steel in all sizes. Now, when you buy a silver and Deming drill bit set, it usually starts at 9 sixteenths and goes up from there. But when these were being actually used every day, they're very nice for drilling holes in steel. A silver drill press does it without a whole lot of effort. Before I drill any holes, I need to mark and center punch these spots where I'm going to put the holes. This rail is an inch and a half wide, so I mark it at three quarter inch from the edge. That's exactly center. And then put a line down the center line of the hole that I previously marked when I had it up against the wall. Then I take the prick punch, set it on the point, put a nice mark in there. The prick punch. It's got a really sharp point on it. It's about 60 degrees. Then the center point has a 90 degree point on it. That corresponds to an 89 degree point on the end of a drill bit. So when the drill bit hits it, it wants to center easily. Two more holes to mark down here on this end. Tremendous amount of leverage with this long lever arm and the screw thread drives that drill bit down in and forces it into the steel. So even though I'm drilling a 3 8 hole without a pilot, I'm doing it fairly easily. just broke through. Now loosen up the vise. Slide the bar over. Use the feed wheel. Put the bit into the center punch mark. Lock the clamp down, flip the drive, ratchet up, and we're off again.
Now this is by no means absolutely effortless. It does involve a bit of cranking. And there I have the hole drilled. Now the drill press will deburr. But it's kind of a pain in the butt set up. Much easier just to take this little egg beater drill and You burn those holes. There we go. I should just leave this countersink right in that drill, but then that means I have to go looking for it if I want to use it for anything else. Okay, the track is drilled, ready to be hung.